and girls, we're learning about motion this month, and you have hoverboards to illustrate how friction affects objects as they move. And I see that everybody has a ramp to test their hoverboards. Gabriella, can I look at your hoverboard? What's that made of? It's made of... Looks like maybe a CD and what else? A balloon. A is balloon. A and, and this is a bottle top. And where does the air come out? Does the air come out on the top or the bottom? The bottom. It comes out of the bottom. Okay, here I've got, I've got a hoverboard. It's inflated, it's ready to go. Hansla, do you want to release the air? Yeah. Let's see if the air reduces friction. Okay. Wow, look at it go. Oh. You could probably do another. Test it again, test it again there. There it goes, okay. And over here I'm with Cameron and she's gonna test out her hoverboard. Cameron, what is friction? What's friction? Uh, friction is two objects um, touching each other. Good, two objects moving against each other. Let's test out your hoverboard and see if that reduces friction there. Yes, it sure does. It sure does, you try it again, try it again. Let it go on down the track there. Oh yeah, it moves very quickly. And then over here, and he test out your hoverboard for us. Awesome, very cool. Fourth graders learning how to reduce friction with a hoverboard.